Here's problem 7, 9. Two vectors a and b are given by a equal to 5i plus 6j plus 7k and b equal to 3i minus 8j plus 2k. If these two vectors are drawn starting from the same point, what is the angle between them? Well, these are two complicated vectors. They're in three-dimensional space, and it's hard to visualize what this angle might be. Even if you had your trusty protractor with you, you would have to try to measure that in three-dimensional space, and it might be difficult. But we can find the angle if we use our two definitions of the dot product. One definition was that A dotted with B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them. Now in terms of magnitude, what we're finding is the magnitude of that three-dimensional vector it has three components, all of them perpendicular. So to find the magnitude, you just square your components, add them together, and take the square root, a three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem, if you will. So this, for A, that would be 5 squared plus 6 squared plus 7 squared, all that square root. So we have 5 squared plus 6 squared plus 7 squared. Square root is 10.5. So that's the magnitude of A. Now for B, we would have that that is 3 squared plus a negative 8 squared, which when we square it will be a positive quantity, plus 2 squared, all that square root. So if I take 3 squared plus 8 squared plus 2 squared square root, I get 8.77. Okay, so the dot product as we've drawn it then is equal to 10.5 times 8.77 times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. 10.5 times 8.77 is 92.1. So we have 92.1 cosine theta. All right, so far so good. We want to use the other definition of the dot product, and we know that uh, a dot b as vectors is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz, the scalar product. Take all the x terms, y terms, and z terms respectively together. So in this case, this would be 5 times 3 plus 6 times a negative 8 plus 7 times 2. So this scalar product would be equal to 15 minus 48 plus 14. That would be 29 minus 48, and that gives us a negative 19. That is the scalar product, a dot b, a negative 19. If we combine these two together, we basically are saying a dot b should equal a dot b. So we have 92.1 cosine theta should be equal to a negative 19. Solving for theta, then, we will have that theta should equal the inverse cosine of a negative 19 divided by 92.1. If I take a negative 19 divided by 92.1 and then take the inverse cosine, that's a negative 0 0.206 by the way, inverse cosine of that gives me 101.9 degrees. So there is 101.9 degrees between these two vectors in three-dimensional space. Much easier than using a protractor. We use the definition of the dot product in its two forms to figure out what this angle is.